In this work, we learn a semantic control space for expressive robot cinematography. Aero cameras are revolutionizing the way we can record movies, but controlling a camera is something that's still really hard. It involves controlling very unintuitive parameters from the aircraft's positions, angles, and velocities. Our objective in this work is to learn a semantic control space so that a user can interact with the system in a very intuitive interface and send commands such as make me a very exciting clip, which is then translated through a generative model and passed on to the robot as a trajectory for the camera. We do this in three main steps. First, we build a diverse video dataset that is then evaluated by hundreds of users in a crowdsourcing platform, and then we extract features from this data using machine learning models in order for us to learn a semantic control space. We produce all of our data in a photorealistic simulator where we have an underlying motion planner that is able to avoid objects like trees, houses, and wires. We produce our shots using six presets that are commonly found in drone cinematography. On top of the presets, we produce several variations of the camera's positioning parameters. Just two examples here are the tilt angle variations and angular speed variations. And we produce over 200 videos in total using all permutations of parameters. And next, we use a crowdsourcing framework to build a ranking of emotions for each one of the videos. Here, users watch two videos at a time, and they have to answer which one is more exciting, interesting, enjoyable, for example, between the left and right options. By evaluating the correlations between the descriptors, we can create a 3D emotional feature space based on psychology literature, where we have three main axes of arousal, valence, and dominance emotions. By using this data, we're able to learn a generative model that finds the most suitable shot parameters for a given emotional expression. And here we show videos that display shots generated for different intensities for each one of the emotions we consider in this work. We evaluate our model in multiple environments across simulation and reward experiments, and we show that our models do not overfit to features encountered in the training set. We also collect additional shots at the maximum expression of the enjoyable emotion. And we have shots where the actor is doing parkour, dance movements, and playing soccer.